Is the country should know the facts. They should know the choice between Bidenomics and Maganomics. American growth and hope, and we're building for American lose, lost jobs, raising fears. MAGA Republicans give us a few, they gave us a few short years ago. Well, if the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results, the White House is officially nuts. The puppeteers behind Biden put out the president again today to read the teleprompter to brag about how great Bidenomics is. Because seeing Biden drool and drone through remarks is somehow going to make people feel good about shrinking bank accounts and high inflation and the high cost of energy. Well, so did the spin finally win? Joining us now to react, Biden's claims one by one debunked, Kevin Hassett, former Trump chair of the Council on Economic Advisors. Kevin, now, he claims that Americans won't be losing jobs with Bidenomics and all they're going to have is hope. Okay. What's the truth there? Right. Well, the truth is, first of all, it's a choice between Bidenomics and the truth, okay? But, excuse me, <clears throat> Bidenomics is basically right now a, a sleight of hand that's similar to the cover up of Hunter Biden. You know, that we just found out from the census that there's a humanitarian crisis in America that uh, in 2021, 11% of single family uh, moms' uh, families were below the poverty line. And we just found out that it's doubled, it's 22% of Americans. And so, so Bidenomics is destroying lives all around the country because he's created inflation and real wages are declining. That same census report says, if you go back to right before the pandemic, the incomes, real incomes for the median family are down $4,000, $4,000 per family. And that's what Biden's cost us. And he's out there, you know, basically spreading lies about the economy. It's really quite stunning. So the real median wages under Trump got up to about $78,250. I know that right. off the top of my head. Um, which was a staggering <laughs> because that was up over, was it about 7,000 all, all, all in uh, in his three years in office? And yeah. even compared to 2020 at the height of the pandemic, Kevin, um, the wages then were higher in real uh, median income terms than they are now. So Biden right. can't even yeah, beat right. Trump about 4, in 2020. Yeah, <laughs> right. So what? Yeah. Yeah, and real incomes dropped, you know, almost uh, $2,000 just in 2022. And, and so Biden's inflationary policies, everybody knows that they're harming lives. And, and the fact is that, that one of the other things that came out today is the producer price index, which both the, the producer price index and the consumer price index radically accelerated. And so we just had a month for producer prices that was about the same as the peak of inflation last year. And so this idea that inflation's going away because of the Inflation Reduction Act, so another lie that he keeps telling. Uh, it's just false. It's not in the data. Inflation's coming back, and lives are going to go down from those terrible numbers we just talked about. Now, Kevin Biden bragged about manufacturing jobs, which made me laugh. Watch. Since I've come to office, all they've really done is attack me and my economic plan. Even though we've created 800,000 manufacturing jobs and a manufacturing boom we haven't seen in decades. Kevin, is it true there's been a boom in manufacturing? No, no. In fact, uh, manufacturing is collapsing in the U.S. And uh, he keeps, you know, the thing that he did is he used COVID to get elected. And now he's using the COVID shutdowns to claim that things are better, but they're not. You know, the best measure, real-time measure of manufacturing is the Institute for Supply Management's index. And uh, right before the summer, it hit the same place it was at the trough of the COVID shutdowns, and it stayed down there since. And, and so everybody's looking at maybe eight, nine months in a row of manufacturing contraction when they look at the data. And so this idea that manufacturing is booming because of him is just, it's frankly just false. Where now, are the Pinocchios up, when you need them? Yeah, exactly. He brought up Trump's tax cut, of course. Uh, check it out. When he passed that $2 trillion tax cut skewed to the wealthy and big corporations, they didn't pay for a penny of it. The end result was that it has ballooned the national debt by nearly 40%. Oh, that's a good one. Now, if you recall, the New York Times even admitted that the vast majority of Americans, Kevin, had their taxes cut. So what is he talking mm -hmm. about? Trying to, again, lay it at the feet of the so-called rich. 
that's the craziest thing that he said. And, and the way to think about it is that uh, the national debt right now is about 33 trillion. Uh, when right before the pandemic, it was about 16 trillion. But if you take 40 percent of 16 trillion, you know, it's what six, north of six uh, trillion. And and the Joint Tax Committee told us that the Trump tax cut. So this is a static score. No benefits of growth would only cost one and a half trillion. So he lied when he said two trillion, and he lied when he said 40 percent because there's no way that one and a half trillion is going to be 40 percent of uh, the debt, you know, that he inherited. And, and so, so the bottom line is that people aren't fact-checking these speeches or he's going off script, but I don't think they let him go off script, right? If he goes no. a little off script, they, they take him off the stage, right? And so, so <laughs> I just can't imagine, up. you know, he, but you remember, Lord, look, we used to talk when I was in the White House, if, if there was any number subtly off in a president's speech that I just got raked over the coals. Do you remember that? <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. Just, yeah they we would say things that are true like, that they didn't like, and they'd say we were yeah. lying. Yeah. yeah they were, and, and they now, were on now you. Now he's like, out there doing this. It's really shameless. But, that, yeah. but it's like anti-economics. So Biden economics is, is like Dada economics, if you're an art historian. I, and you know, I think, it's Kevin, basically when, when, nonsense. It's just nonsense. Yeah, when he starts, when he starts saying maganomics, does he think that's an argument? Because most people think they were better off in 2019 than they are today. So if people think, yeah, Maganomics was really good for me. Like, you talk to the guy on the street with a workaday job, he's like, yeah, I made more money, gas was cheap, got to go on vacation. It was actually a pretty good deal. So I don't think Maganomics calling it that. That just helps Trump uh, morning, noon, and night. Kevin, great to see you. It's been too long. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.